Where did those shits go? What's going on guys? This is Ke <laughs> What's going on guys? This is Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I am back. I'm so sorry for the month-long hiatus. I had a lot of finals. Uh, a lot of shit that was going on in my life, but I'm back. I am here to do a quick look slash review of the acronym VaporMax. So this is the acronym VaporMax 2, I believe, and this is their mock version, so it doesn't have the traditional laces up front. I'm going to be doing a basically like a detailed look of it. I'm going to show you guys some fits that I like with this, and then I'm also going to be sharing a little story um, of how I got this pair and how I got my box signed by Errolson. So, so straight off the bat, you guys can see they essentially turned the acronym logo into a pattern. Here it is real quick. Let me just do a quick 360. It has the pattern all throughout. The upper isn't really of just like a pure white. It's not like a platinum white, but it's more of a bone, which is what the color is. Um, the upfront is a volt green, so this is a, another layer. So essentially, it's like dual layer. There is a layer of elastic fly knit underneath that is perforated for ventilation, and it also has this thick, like stretch. I'm not sure if it's uh, fly knit or if it's just elastane, but it has that in volt. Also, in the heel area, it has acronym written there and also Volt. I believe this is like almost like a fused material and the back is stabilized or kind of structured with this hard, or harder heel counter. On the inside, which is what I found was interesting, is that the, the insoles are actually kind of interesting. Sorry, like I had my dog's fur is all over this, but it has acronym written in, I think Japanese, if I remember correctly. Don't you love it when the wind blows? So here is the insole. This is of the right shoe. It says acronym Nike Air. Of course, I've worn this a bit. So it does kind of fray, not fray, but the print does kind of rub away. And an interesting thing is that also this is like a dual, dual membrane, I guess, or dual layered insole where it's like sort of like a hard styrofoam. And towards your toe area, it does have another layer of cushion. So I think it has to do with just because the Vapor Max, it just isn't like a traditional sole and it's like multiple prongs, I guess, multiple air unit prongs that if you had like a softer insole in it, it might kind of push in and pressure in into your foot. And of course, like that won't feel very good. And no, oh, like another thing that I forgot to mention is, is obviously the acronym written on here and on the bottom air unit, it has acronym, or at least the logo, printed right there. So, uh, one of the biggest details about this is obviously, yes, it's the Volt, that was very polarizing, and same with the pattern. People are saying that this isn't stealthy, or this isn't, you know, like, this isn't tech, like, wee, wee. Um, guys, like, you'll butter yourselves up to this. This is, I think, the equivalent to the Lava Prestos. People are saying, dude, those are fucking ass, those are ugly. Now they're going for like 600 to 900 bucks on any resale website or even grailed. So you guys will warm up to this. This is a killer sneaker. Um, I do like the pattern. Initially, I was a little bit turned off from the pattern, but the more that I saw it and me actually getting it in hand, it's absolutely sick. One of the things that I had an issue with and now that I'm starting to see is the white painted bottom. So it's actually just painted. So the actual air unit is translucent and it isn't like this air unit is white. So this white can rub off and will rub off through wear. As you guys can see, I will do a close up shots on like the sole of it because I've been wearing this quite frequently. Uh, the paint is already rubbing off on some of the areas that, you know, touch directly to the ground. So don't expect this to stay white forever. I feel like this would have looked pretty decent or just as good with the black painted as well. It might even look better. Uh, there was a friends and family pair that my friends and I saw at the LA event. Uh, that had the essentially the bone upper, but the bottom air units were chrome. I'll throw up a pic of that. I talked to Errolson and Melody about it. They said that it's nice, but that stuff cracks. So I'm gonna see maybe if I can replicate it 
with just like spray on chrome. I'll, I'll see if I can do that. I think that'd be interesting, like an interesting video or like a custom that I could do make this chrome. But yeah, so far this is it. Like I might even try to strip the paint with maybe some acetone and just to have like a clear bottom. I think the clear bottom would also look nice, but yeah, like let me know of you guys' thoughts. And another little thing that I found out is this is actually my first Vapor Max, just just like in entirety. Like the Vapor Max model never really intrigued me. The only one that I was like kind of considering is the SE version of the I think the Comme des Garçons one, except without the branding and like the rate pricing. Uh, that one was the only one that I was kind of interested in, but I decided to pass on it. And a lot of people's complaint for this is that it's not that comfortable. I've worn it for the past few days and I can say that it is pretty decently comfy. It's not as good as React, which I have the Epic, um, Epic React Flyknit. That one's a bit more comfortable, but this really isn't a bad shoe. But I did notice that it does squeak a lot, um, at least initially. Initially, it squeaked a crap ton while I was walking on like very flat surfaces and not like concrete or anything like that. I was walking through like the mall or I was walking through like marble floors and shit like that and it would just constantly squeak. So I think after breaking it in, ugh, after breaking it in, it'll be a lot more of an enjoyable experience. And let's just go around the box really quickly. It is your normal traditional Nike sportswear box. So I got a US 8. I do suggest everybody go true to size. Unlike a lot of the acronym sneakers that have released prior, this fits extremely true to size. I'm a true to size like eight. Sometimes I can get away with a seven and a half like the Lunar Force 100s. Uh, I can get away with like a seven and a half and I'll be fine. But uh, size eight is perfect on me. I feel like if I went eight and a half or a seven and a half, the eight and a half would be too big or too long. The seven and a half would be too tight on my foot. So I do suggest everybody Go true to size. It might be initially a little bit tight, but like it loosens up within the day that you wear it. I did get this at Maxfield. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, I, I have a fucking Vapor Max acronym cup from the event. Retail was 225. I, I know a lot of international sites are charging a lot more, and I know acronym was charging, ooh, before the Vax re or VAT refund, it was charging like, ooh. Man, I gotta pull it up, but I'll put a screenshot on how much they charge me, but um, Luckily, they're doing a VAT refund and the VAT refund with I think it comes up to being like 270 or something like that. So not too bad The other two colorways there is a dark stucco colorway and there is also a black volt colorway uh, Both of those release on acronym site with the bone drop but all the other retailers, they will be releasing in staggered releases throughout, I believe, April and the month after April. So it, it, it'll be kind of staggered, sort of like the Off-White Vapor Max releases that are going to be happening this coming weekend. It's going to be staggered and you guys will have a chance to cop from them. So keep an eye out for Nike sneakers app or any sneaker news in the future. So as you guys can see from the top, I actually got mine signed by Errolson. Acronym and Nike hold it an event in LA in Maxfield LA my friends and I uh, Chris JSW Steven Otis um, Computer death or Joshua we all basically lined up and we we're just chilling there We didn't even get there that early. We got there around like 7 a.m. The event was supposed to open at 11. There's only like what maybe maybe eight other people in line and then the line quickly grew but it was amazing meeting him. It was an awesome experience. I have a bunch of pictures, a bunch of uh, a bunch of little funny little nitpicks. Like, uh, you guys can check it out on my Instagram at kevin.img. It is under my story highlights as I believe ACRVPM. I, I believe that's the story highlight name. So check it out. Give me a quick follow. I'm gonna be uploading more photos now. I do try to keep my Instagram stories at least up to date, ugh, up to date. But yeah, it's just been busy to make actually fully fleshed out photos and stuff like that, so. Sorry about that. I'll be showing these guys on feet with some little fit pics and yeah. Fuck it. I'ma have the bars until the death of me. Woke up on the floor to
have sworn it hardly fits my destiny Developing addictions, got the recipe for ecstasy So check it, B, I could take your bae I'm talking Chesapeake, recklessly Driving down the highway, going 73 Speed limit 55, hope them coppers mess with me I'm done asking for all you fuckers to remember me But when I die, I build an effigy And I'm the next in line for the throne That ain't enough, I'm about to take it Plus the necklace and bones Up off whichever pussy currently in charge of my home About to star 67, homie Pick up your phone so I can trace it From the basement to the attic Face it, I'm fantastic Chase a pound of grass and hash with 30 tabs of acid I'ma brag about drugs and my music And make it classic The worst influence yet, Mr. Corduroy, let him have it yeah. Bucket hat, hooligan, I'm cooler than what rap is I put the door up under my bed I ain't paying taxes Flip the axis on these mother Thank you guys so much for watching this video I'm glad to be back I am just so busy with school, I'm so sorry. I've just been trying to keep up with releases and all this jazz. The best way to keep up with me is on Instagram. If you guys have any questions about this sneaker or anything related to that, DM me at kevin.img. That's probably the easiest way to get back to me. I do try to reply to all comments. What do you guys think about this recent collaboration? I know some people were screeching that there weren't any zippers on it or that it doesn't have functionality or it was all designed, but like, let, let me know what you guys think about this collaboration. Did you guys cop? Do you guys want to cop? Let me know in the description or the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace!